What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel, so in this video, I'm gonna show you 10 new realistic things you can do in PES 2021. The support is always crazy on these kinds of videos, so if you wanna see a part 2 with more things you can do or things that have been in the game, let's go for 3000 likes and I'll get that up as soon as possible. Let's get into it then with something I noticed just a few days ago when I made an episode of my event this Master League. You can pretty much see before the game that the opposition fans are sitting on the banners, sitting on the fence in the stadium. Now these are not the regular fans so these are the ultras and it's really cool to me that not every single fan is going to be acting the same in the game some of them are more hardcore than others as you can see right here he's not even wearing anything he's just sitting there in the cold and uh, you know going crazy which is really funny to me now these are the fans for the team Istanbul and I have to say that I haven't seen this happen yet so other than Istanbul so I know that those fans can be a bit crazier uh, than normal football fans um, so maybe it only happens with you know teams in the countries where you know they this is more usual or something, I'm not too sure, but it was the first time I've seen it in the game and I have to say it's a very nice detail and it also adds to the atmosphere of the game. They also updated some brand new penalty styles and one of them is Sergio Ramos and now of course he's been one of the best penalty takers in the world, probably is. Uh, for the last couple of years now he's been taking every single penalty and scoring them uh, it's now been added to the game as well and yeah he sort of stops right before he strikes the ball uh, that is now in the game uh, brand new this year uh, this is not even on FIFA at the moment so I'm a bit surprised that they haven't added his animation there because they have all the lights and stuff uh, but it's now on pass which is uh, nice to see and especially works really well when you chip the goalkeeper or something um, so yeah nice and new addition uh, for the penalty animations you can also do the Ibrahim kick in the game uh, you can also score from it but I haven't been able to do that yet it is very difficult uh, to time it when trying to shoot it and score but I'm probably gonna show you guys that in a future episode that I'm able to pull this off in game uh, but pretty much it is not too difficult to do just use a player that has uh, the acrobatic finishing traits and you can score all sorts of crazy goals so bicycle kicks you can score scorpion kicks uh, you know karate kick goals everything like that and it's uh, even more cool when you're using of course Zlatan Ibrahimovic sometimes after winning a title the players are gonna be going on their phones and you know I don't know facetiming with someone or I don't know just taking a few selfies going around the pitch and getting some memories on your phone so you can see from this uh, cousin here that uh, yeah Henderson pulled out his phone didn't really expect the captain uh, first of all to get to get the phone out um, I was expecting somebody else to be honest but uh, I guess it's the captain that does it in the cutscenes at least and you can see that he takes a few pictures uh, with the players walking around so I just thought that that was a nice detail the cutscenes but winning titles in this game are really really great there is also so much great customization you can do on your stadium you can pretty much edit stadiums uh, changing you know sideline colors the changing seat colors uh, changing the goal netting the sign and this was also something that was stolen by FIFA this year every single year EA steal like 10 things off of PES it is crazy but let's not get into that at the moment that's uh, for a different video uh, but there's a lot of great uh, turf patterns as well which do indeed look uh, really well in game it doesn't look over the top either it actually looks realistic and natural uh, which I'm a big fan of and you can see that of course you can change the seed colors around the stadium of course if you have a team that's you know maybe got the blue colors in the logo or something it would be pretty nice to have like a sideline color that's blue so you see blue around the pitch that's also in my opinion a very nice detail that you can edit and there's also so many goal stars you can change literally like the poles behind the goal uh, to make that also look pretty unique and this is also my favorite type of net in the game the uh, type number two I have to say that it looks uh, really cool in game and there's also so many ways uh, for the goal and net in the sun if you want to just have a single color or you can also have multiple ones to change out the pattern of how it looks like and if you also change the colors here it's gonna be looking like that in game so you can have a uh, multiple colors I'm gonna choose uh, for First of all pink here and then we're gonna go ahead and choose the blue so of course those colors are not too similar at the moment but trust me when we actually get into the game you're gonna see how great it looks before that though we're gonna choose our net in the sun so we're just gonna go through them and you can see that even though it looks a bit all over the place they're in the preview I have to say that it actually looks pretty realistic in the game uh, so we're gonna choose one now you know I love these ones they're so great especially when you know you can have two different colors uh, red and yellow though in my opinion doesn't go too well but we're gonna choose this one here number 15 uh, see how that one looks in game I mean take a look at that guys the goal looks pretty nice you can also see the uh, pitch pattern that we chose uh, which also looks uh, you know sort of natural here uh, in the grass as well which is uh, pretty nice and you can also see uh, the uh, yellow seeds that we chose so there's a lot of great customization and yeah the net right here looks uh, really nice you know before at least it was actually allowed to have you know some uh, you 
me colors uh, in the nets of some teams. I remember that uh, Everton used to have like a completely uh, blue nets and stuff, but uh, yeah, I mean, th this looks really nice. A lot of great customization to make the teams and the stadiums look uh, very unique. There's even more ways of taking free kicks in this game. I've shown you so many great techniques and ways to hit the ball before, but for this one, all you need to have is the dipping shot rate on one of the players. If you have that, just go for crazy power, almost full bar, and right before you hit the ball again, just hit the shoot button, and it's gonna be dipping like crazy. This one really works well from a long range, especially with players that, of course, does not need to have this trait. You know, like Leroy Sané, he does this technique in real life, and you can just see how fast the ball goes down right over the wall, and it's gonna be very difficult for the keeper to take. So yeah, one of the most effective ways to score, it's really realistic as well, it's nice that this is in the game, um, so yeah, one of my favorite ways to score and take uh, free kicks in past the 12 for the 1. When it rains in game, it's just gonna take a few seconds uh, for the vanishing spray to disappear after taking the free kicks. Sometimes you don't notice it because it literally goes past so quickly. This game does a really great job of the presentation when it comes to stadiums and uh, teams that have a real licenses in the game. So this one, for example, in Bayern is amazing. You can see people waving with massive flags in the middle of the pitch. The music is there, everything is on point. Take a look at this, the atmosphere is amazing and it really gets you hyped up before a game. Well, it is that special time of the year where everyone starts as equals. Far back in the distance, memories of last season, positions and points tallies on the last day. That's all now irrelevant. It is all about the ultimate prize that lies a long way ahead. That buoyant feeling is here. New start, fresh hope. Get the season off to a flyer. The fans are believing. Everything a brilliant shade of red here, even indeed the outer skin of the stadium when its mightiest occupants are in town. As some of you have seen, you can do the Griezmann Confetti celebration this year, which is a pretty unique celebration, I have to say, because you don't really see this all the time where you have to go ahead and use different objects uh, to go ahead and celebrate with, but uh, it is a pretty cool one, and what I thought is that you can only do this with Griezmann, but, uh, you know, after recording a few episodes of uh, Match League, I can see that this also happens, indeed, with different players. So this literally can happen in any single stadium, it can happen with any single player, which it makes it even better, and, you know, the confetti is gonna be in different colors, depending on how uh, the kits of your team are so yeah in my opinion I have to say this is one of my favorite celebrations on the game of all time that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it let me know down below in the comment section what was your favorite thing from this video was it the uh, confetti was it the free kicks was it the ramos penalty let me know and of course uh, drop a like if you want to see uh, more videos like this and i'll get that up in a few uh, days but that is all guys thank you once again so much for watching have a great day subscribe for more and i'll see you very soon with a brand new video. Peace out.